Hello everybody and today we are going to learn how to engrave using the CAM software within Kirimoto as an extension of Onshape so that we can make the Starbird puzzle piece have uh, something a little bit personalized in it or if you want to do anything else where you want to personalize it. So the first thing you're going to need to do is basically put any sort of font, image, or anything like that, and basically extrude it down 0.05 inches. Uh, you can go a little deeper to like 0.1 inches or even 0.125, but I would not go more than that for the engraving bit. Um, we're only doing a simple engraving that's as far down as you really want to go. So if we take a look at my extrude right here, I'm down 0.05 inches. Now what we're going to do is we can put these in a vise within the uh, CNC router and do one at a time. But if we want to do multiples, the vices actually can set wide enough up to do five at a time. So we're going to bring these into Kirimoto, five of them, set the tool paths up with the engraving bit so that we can then mill out five at a time. So you have your piece, it's extruded down 0 0.05 inches. Let's go to Kirimoto. So we'll go, hit the plus sign, locations, Kirimoto. Let this load in. Uh, so I have one part, we're gonna do all five. So we'll bring them in. I'm just gonna delete that one and duplicate this one. Okay, we have all five. Next step, you're gonna go up to version and make sure you're on the beta version. So up at the little gear guy here, go version. Go to beta, the 3.9 beta. If you don't do that, what next step may not work out too well. Now you're gonna arrange these so that they would look like they are in the vise. Doesn't have to be perfect. Um, Kirimoto is pretty good, but it, you know there are certain things that just don't work the way you want. This is one of them, but that's fine. View, I'm just gonna go to top and set these up. Now, if they're slightly off, it is not the end of the world. What you wanna do is make sure that there's little to no spaces between them. And try to get them even. Don't spend too much time doing it. The amount that it may look more off than it really is, Okay, I'm going to deal with that. That looks good. And let's just take a look at one more time. We're straight on top. All right, now that I have that, we're going to click off, rotate it. I'm going to hit V on the keyboard. That sets the focus of the screen onto that. You need to hit V. Okay, I'm then going to go to CNC machine, Carbide 3D Nomad. That's the one we're using. You're then gonna add a tool in. So the same thing, machine, tools, you're gonna to add an engraver. It's gonna have a taper. It's gonna have a point, uh, one, two, five inch or an eighth of an inch shaft diameter. Length is about two inches of this gray portion. The flute is 0.125 diameter, that's down here, and is a 0.25 length and tapers down to zero. The angle right there, it's given to you after you do all this in. So you, then you're gonna hit save. Okay, X that out. Now we're gonna go do the actual path that we need. Hit the plus sign, go to trace. And once you're in here, hit the plus sign again. Now, if you do not see your this ability to highlight these paths, you're gonna have to either set the focus or press V again on here once you get out. Now when I'm in here, I'm just gonna come in and I'm gonna select the tops. You can select the tops or the bottoms I'm gonna do just the tops. That's the ones you want first. They're easier to select. And then we're gonna cut down below the surface. It's not a problem. See there, I select the bottom. Let's deselect it. There we go. Select just the top. Okay, it's a little tedious, it's fine. The time that you spend doing this will make up for it in the end because you won't have to keep changing parts over. All right, 
there we go. Now we have those. Hit the check mark. You're good. I'm gonna go to slice. Let's preview. Oops. Nothing. It's in the back. Go to trace again. Hit the plus sign. Okay, make sure it's all good. Once that's all selected, step over is gonna be 0.1. Step down, 0.05. Sorry to cut through. Because we selected the tops, we're also gonna do 0.05 down. And keep the rest the same. Hit the check mark, you're good. Now slice. And notice those are your paths right there. We can preview it. That's the actual path. And then we can go animate it. And this is what the machine is going to do. So now this is where you see it, that engraver bit working out and it's going to go through every single part. Now, why does it go in this order? Beyond me. The machine thinks that's the best way of going about it. That's the algorithms that they use to create the tool paths. Let it do what it's going to do. There's no point in changing it. Unless you did individual tool paths where I went one block after the next after the next. Don't even worry about it. This works just fine. That's it. Those are your tool paths. Okay. You're then going to export this. Export it. You can call the you know star burr. Download that G code, and if you want, you can take a look at the G code. I'm going to open it up in Notepad. If you want to see it, and there you have it over here. Let me bring this over. Come on, window. There we go. And then that's the G code to cut out those paths. Pretty simple. Uh, you'll take that, you'll put it into the machine, and I'll show you how to do that in class. There you go, everyone. I hope you enjoyed this video on how to use the trace function in Kirimoto in order to engrave the logo or whatever it is that you want into your Starburst puzzle piece. All right, everyone, have a great night. Bye.